So let's go ahead and talk about Ergo and the issues that Ergo has been experiencing over the past couple days. Now, the only reason I got wind of this was on Twitter and then I had to hop into their Discord. Now in the Discord, this is the original message which was yesterday at 3.18 a.m. It was from Kushti to HeroMiners.com. This was basically a screenshot that Hero Miners screen capped and put into the mining channel within the Ergo Discord. So technically it's a private DM, but it wasn't privately DM'd to me. So this is as far as I feel is public information and should be discussed. And so here we go. All right, so Kushti. Please says, please check your nodes now. Herominers.com says, what's the problem again? And Christy says, DOS attack, overloading CPU and mem usage. Please restart your nodes for now. Testing a fix, all versions affected. So what this ended up translating into was mining pools being down. Here is a screenshot at the time for, of course, Ergo and what was going on. As you can see, what was ending up happening is a whole bunch of invalid block heights going on here. And that was actually in relation to not the DDoS, but directly after the DDoS when the, the node was updated. So then what happened is all of the mining pools were off. So what ended up coming into play was this release from Ergo. Uh, this was released seven hours ago from Kushti. So it was considered in P2P layer that any block section is no more than some limit, namely two megabytes. While this is true for transactions where limit can be changed by miners through and so exceed two megabytes and extension section 10 kilobyte max, there's no check for UTXO set transformation proofs. Most of the nodes generating uh, generating and not downloading. Remember, we have a little bit of an English barrier here. So let's try to figure this out. So it's the case that one transaction made 5,000 UTXOs. Then a light client working in digest mode caused problems for public nodes storing UTXO set as they did not con consider violation of the rule and so stuck in an endless loop this release relaxing the issue by making full nodes not stuck if they have some if they have yeah if they have some of a block section more than allowed block section size in this case the node is still sending it on client side there is some relaxation of the limit However, to protect the light clients fully, we need to introduce consensus level checks for UTXO set transformation proofs in a next soft fork or miners can vote on raising costs of output. So the vote, I guess there's going to be another vote coming to Ergo on this next soft fork that will either basically introduce consensus level checks for UTXO and set trans transformation proofs or raise the cost of an output. <clears throat> so that's kind of where we're at. So it doesn't seem like it was like a full DOS attack. I mean, essentially it was, but it was because one transaction made 5,000 UTXOs here, which I guess we could take a look at on the Ergo Explorer. right here <whistles> circulating supply transactions per day <laughs> oof All right. So there's a screenshot of what happened then. Uh, if we take a look now, everything appears to be up for the most part, except for these pools. So if you're having trouble mining Ergo right now, you need to be aware that some pools have not updated their nodes. 
And I think anybody on miningcore.pro, which there's 3.48 giga hash a second on there right now. Um, it's nothing, I mean, that's definitely something that needs to be looked at. Um, just go ahead and check it. It says there's only 11 miners, but total there's 12 miners that are on pools that are currently on the wrong node. So go ahead and check your miners. Make sure you're not on miningcore.pro if you're watching this and one of the 11 people on there or mole pool if you're the one person that's on mole pool, which I'm assuming is probably the person that built mole pool. So whoever built mole pool, uh, maybe go ahead and update your node. And then as far as the rest of it goes, nano pools back up, hero miners back up. An interesting turn of events, I believe. Let me look at this. Is that, well, okay, that's because fly pool went up and it was 99% of it. I think it did end up at least evening out some of this. If we are looking at this screenshot, it looks like fly pool was the quickest to respond that has any significant uh, hash rate on it. So that may be something you want to consider when picking a pool for Ergo. <clears throat> and Hero Miners was basically the one that let us know. So of course that's good. And so I would probably choose Hero Miners or Fly Pool at this point. Probably stay away from Nano Pool in general just because I already do. And you don't want to consolidate too much of the hash rate over there. So that's pretty much what happened with Ergo. We had a DDoS attack. So attacks are coming. Um, you know, this isn't dissimilar from the last super cycle, which is kind of like within that bear market or right before a bear market, having a bunch of attacks going down, especially on smaller cap coins uh, and then obviously exchanges. So a part of that can be because there is a lack of enthusiasm within the space from the developers uh, when that kind of high has settled down, right? They're working really, really hard. They're doing really good. They're opening stadiums. They're whatever, sponsoring the UFC or, you know, their platform's doing really, really good. Then everything kind of like stales out and the, the enthusiasm kind of like peters out. And I think just naturally humans get a little bit lazy when it starts getting that mundaneness and things like this start happening. I would presume we see it more and more often over the next couple of months, probably through April, we'll probably be seeing more hacks and so on. More and more people are hopping into the space as well. So of course there is that and there's a lot of money to be made in basically uh, fraudulent activity. Uh, Alec, yes, as far as covering the DDoS, well, we covered the, the actual reasoning, which was bu -bu 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 here. It's not, like I said, it's not technically a DDoS, but it has basically this, oh, sorry. It basically has the same reaction of a DDoS because of the, it was just basically one transaction that made 5k UTXO. Uh, requests essentially so which essentially took it down and then was overloading all the mining pools etc there's a current fix doesn't seem like it's the final fix and the final fix will be uh, deployed through a soft fork that will be voted on by the miners I do not have information on what that EIP name will be um, I'm still waiting on more information from EI for EIP 27 as well. So there you go. There's where we're at. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.